What's up, Attacker World? Josh Krause here, StrategyCool.com, and I got a really quick tip for you today on how to get better photos in sunsets. So I'm gonna quickly go through the setup on how I did a... So the trick with sunsets is to get the most color out of the sky possible while still making your couple look good, and it's a really straightforward setup here, and I'm gonna go through that real quick for you. So, uh, for this recent engagement session, we were on top of a mountain, and I think being up high on top of the mountain really did something different to give me... There was a little bit more of a pink color than I've seen before, but anyway, so here's the view the before picture from the before and after. And as you can see, this is pretty much sunset, right? The sun is just dipping behind the mountains and you're getting a little bit of that warm color. But the trick here is because the sun is still making the sky so bright that you're gonna get a really bright washed out white color in the background. So I don't know if you've ever tried to take sunset pictures before and then got frustrated realizing I'm not getting all the color that I thought I would. Um, so there's two tricks to that that we're gonna go through real quick on getting more color out of the sunset. So here's some portraits right at the beginning of sunset. As you can see, um, there was enough light to evenly light the couple and get some color in the background, but the background is still kind of bright. So this is the natural light portrait at sunset, okay? And as you notice, it's a nice picture. There's some nice warm glow behind them. There's some nice sun kiss on their hair, but it's not really a super vibrant, overwhelmingly colorful sunset shot. And that's because the brightness of the sun is creating that washed out, overexposed white effect to the sky, which will desaturate the colors. So the trick is to underexpose. So as you bring the exposure down, now that white is no longer washed out and the color is able to show up, okay? And so what you'll get is, the, like in these silhouette photos, so a really easy way to take portraits with sunsets is to do a silhouette because you can make the sky dark and vibrant because you can bring the exposure down and that'll darken the couple and they become a silhouette and then the sky is maximizing the color. By bringing the exposure down and making a darker picture, you're gonna let the vibrance and saturation of those colors really come out because the brightness of the sun is not blowing out and overexposing the colors essentially. So the darker the exposure, the more vibrant the color because the colors are able to register before they get blown out to white on your camera sensor. So here's a couple examples. We're just playing around as the sun is setting and getting behind the mountain. Uh, we're able to get the sunset silhouette pictures and the sky is really starting to get vibrant and colorful because we are underexposing and bringing the exposure down. All right, the next trick is to wait for full twilight, okay? And so full twilight is when the sun is actually behind, behind the horizon and it's completely gone and the colors really start to come out and really become vibrant. Okay, so here's a shot of twilight. You can see the silhouette of the couple's heads. This is the setup before the, um, the after picture. And because this is twilight time, there's even more colors coming out. There's less of that overwhelming light from the sun. We've got, I think there's something about being up in the mountains. I've never seen this like coral pink sunset before. Uh, so much color, really magnificent. Uh, but as you can see, I kept the exposure on the sky. So I'm exposing for the sky first. To give you an idea, the exposure settings would have been one one hundred one one hundredth of a second at f5 and i was at f5 because i wanted a little bit of depth of field so you get some definition with the background um some of the shape and just to make sure the exposure was down enough and i was at 28 millimeters it was um with the 28 to 75 lens anyway so you, as you can see it's twilight time which is the 20 minutes to 30 minutes after sunset the sun actually sets and that's when you're going to get the most vibrant color um and i think the first half of twilight you're going to get kind of like that super warm orange and pinks and magentas and all the really vibrant colors and then the last half of twilight you're going to start to get that deep blue uh, blue hour color and i really like that as well all right so how do you actually get this portrait to work well very simply you need to bring something like magbox so i brought a softbox with me i had the magbox 24 inch octabox here with all you need is a speed light here i have a go a godox v860 on camera trigger on camera trigger so that you can bring the couple up so you want to expose for the sky first so the main trick with getting great sunset portraits is getting that twilight time expose for the sky make sure the color is nice and vibrant and deep first then throw a nice flash on your couple so here's the position of the flash i had um it was relatively high and shooting down um a couple feet away the closer you get the softbox the softer the light's going to be so if you have a wide landscape then you have two options you're going to just have to have it kind of far and let it be a little bit hard or you can photoshop it out okay so here's the setup. And as you can see, this is not edited. And this is how vibrant and incredible the sky looked. Like I said, I don't know. 
I don't remember my physics of the atmosphere, but there's something about being up high, I think that is giving me that extra pink color. But regardless, when you are getting into that post sunset twilight time, you're gonna get the most vibrant colors of the day is that 20 minute window of getting more magentas and, and pinks and stuff like that in the sky. And so the sky literally looked this vibrant. There's no editing settings here. Um, and this is, would be straight out of the camera what it would look like. And so anyway, I thought also what was kind of cool was the silhouettes of the trees adding some dimension to it. So I framed them in the shot as well. All right, and then you get the couple pose nice and snugly and crop out the, the flash by moving in just a little bit. And then here would be the final picture and then doing a little bit of editing to boost the contrast. I probably over edited their, their face just a little bit here. Or, and then the editing, by the time you boost the contrast and the saturation a little bit, uh, the colors really, really pop. Um, I could probably tone it down just a little bit here. Cool, maybe I'd wanna darken her legs. There's a lot of light fell down there. It takes attention away from their faces and stuff. But anyway, so there it is, super simple. Um, whenever you have a sunset, be prepared with a nice soft box, a nice light to go with it and underexpose a little bit of the sky and you're gonna get those super deep colors and then flash the couple so that they stand out and they look good as well. All right, so get out there and take some awesome sunset photos. Get out there in twilight, maybe even try a blue hour. Maybe I'll try the next photos, waiting a little bit longer and getting that deep blue sky. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe so you can get more videos in your feed and help my channel grow greatly. I appreciate it. And until next time, I'm Josh Grasso, and we'll see you in the next video.